I'll tell you, and by the way, this comes in fact because I have sources in other places, including in Russia. You know what? A lot of people in Russia, they don't believe whatever the government tells them because they know it's state media. And when they know they can't access all information, they don't trust it. Why should they? So when you consider that Tucker Carlson is over in Moscow right now doing this interview and getting, by the way, praised by, interestingly, the Russian people who I think appreciate maybe that there's another narrative out there. Well, guess what? I find it amazing that so many journalists, whether it be at CNN or whether it be the Weekly Standard guy or whether it be, you know, a congressman coming out saying he's a traitor, everybody's coming down hard on him. Did they ever do that, guys, to the NBC, the NBC journalist who interviewed, it was like a blip, right? You never even heard about it. This, this guy from NBC went and interviewed Putin a year and change ago? Let's see, I think we have a date on this story. There we go, yep, 2021 actually, so a little ways ago. June 2021, Keir Simmons went. But I guess Keir got that you know, rubber stamp of approval when Kier was texting back and forth with, with people in Russia or emailing, somehow people here found out about it and they're like, hey, okay, hey, okay, we'll take him, we'll take him. But they're not gonna take Tucker. And think about that. Like, why is it? Do you have to be sanctioned by the US government in order to do these interviews? Did the State Department have to like brief you first? They were totally fine with Barbara Walters interviewing Vladimir Putin. Look at this clip, 2001, ABC's Barbara Walters, now deceased, creator of The View, incidentally, back in the day when it actually talked about real things, sitting down with Vladimir Putin, 2001. I would say that the United States is losing, not in the military, but in the information. It seems to me that on the information field, terrorists are acting more aggressively and more offensively, and they are presenting opposition in terms of emotions. As to the military dimension, in our assessment, things happen the way they should. You know, I got the idea to look for that from one of you. I'm looking at your comments right now. One of you guys recommended that, and I was like, that is a great point. And you were making the point that she interviewed Castro in, uh, in Cuba. And, and I, I stumbled across this. And wow, I mean, those are interesting words that he said. Back in 2001, we had a much better relationship with Russia. Don't forget the very first phone call after 9-11 that Bush took was from this guy. It was Vladimir Putin who wanted to express his condolences. He was the very first world leader. And if you look at that interview when he warns against how the information war is occurring and happening and that bad people are kind of out in front of that in ways that are not very helpful to the country, he is on to something. Again, I'm not one to restrict speech, but look at what has happened on the left. Look at the extremism that you see over on these platforms like TikTok. I mean, if China wants to get us, that's one good way to do it, right? You destroy the morale and psyche of an entire generation. You, you, you pollute their minds with a lot of stuff that really, I'm telling you, is not healthy. Now, as a believer in that freedom of speech, you know what? You want to say this stuff, I guess it's your right to do so. I'm not going to say it's not. But don't tell me. Don't tell me that I can't believe and think and say what I believe to be true. And that is where we have a breakdown. They do not want to hear from Tucker, from me, from probably you. And that is fundamentally the issue, which is why I go back to make sure you subscribe. I'm glad we're here. I'm thrilled that we have these pockets of opportunities to, to talk, to be on a podcast like this, to be streaming like this on YouTube. Thumbs up for that. Live on Rumble, Facebook as well. All of these platforms, Twitter, which are really helpful, instrumental in making sure that we can bring the truth to you today and now. 